Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dave Hewitt, and I'm the new chairman of the board of the uh, Vancouver International Film Festival. The man you have seen up here for as longer than I can remember has uh, stepped down uh, recently, and this uh, spring I took taken over the reins of the uh, chair of the of the festival. Um, in in that regard, um, I've been involved with the festival for approximately a decade now, uh, starting with uh, working with Michael and Alan in the design and building of the new film center over on Seymour Street. Um, Michael's shoes, uh, figuratively and literally, will be very difficult to fill, uh, but uh, I, uh, I will attempt to do what I can. Um, I'd like to take a moment to, to just talk about Michael uh, for a minute. Um, Michael has uh, been on the chair of the board of the film festival for 24 to 25 years. Uh, in Michael's own words, that's an affront to all forms of governance. Uh, but uh, it, I think the film festival, um, under his chairmanship and, uh, and Alan's direction, uh, is uh, they have almost single-handedly made the film festival what it is today. Michael is uh, continuing as a, a board member and in his new role as Chair Emeritus and he's uh, performing particularly marvelous work building industry relations between China and the British Columbia Film Community and the Film and Television Forum. Uh, the entire film festival family owes a great debt of gratitude to Michael Francis for his outstanding support, leadership, generosity, and deep friendship over two decades. It's my privilege and an honor to call Michael a friend. Please join me in a healthy round of applause for Michael uh, as the outgoing chair. Michael, Michael, please stand. Further to uh, Michael building the relationships with China, I would like, just like to take a moment and acknowledge some visiting guests that we have here from China tonight. Uh, Mr. Wang from the, uh, the Secretary General of the Chinese Film Producers Association and his delegation is in the house tonight. So if he could just stand and be recognized. <laughs> On behalf of the board, the staff and featured artists, we're very proud and delighted to bring you one of the finest film festivals in North America, hosted in one of the most spectacular cities anywhere. You're in for a great ride in the next 15 days. The 2012 program promises to be a banner year with over 380 films from 75 countries. Tonight, it's our great fortune to have this opportunity to gather together to honor and thank the many people and organizations whose combined talents, resources, and support help make VIF possible. We couldn't do any of this without you. All three levels of government are partners with the Vancouver International Film Festival and share our passion for film, filmmaking, and great stories. VIF was incredibly fortunate this year to receive an investment of a quarter of a million dollars in new funding from the province of British Columbia through the Ministry of Community, Sport and Cultural Development for a new ticketing system and improvements to technology upgrades. We want to warmly thank and acknowledge the province of British Columbia for this leadership, funding, as well as the festival's annual funding through the British Columbia Arts Council. We also wish to give special acknowledgement and thanks to the Government of Canada and the Honourable James Moore, Minister of Canadian Heritage. Uh, Minister Moore couldn't be with us tonight. Uh, he was with us in previous years, but he had previous engagements. Uh, from the uh, Ministry of, of Canadian Heritage, VIF has also received an additional $120,000 investment specifically for the festival's programming, community marketing, and our volunteer program. 
And speaking of volunteers, as you know, VIF relies on approximately 750 volunteers assisting in every festival department from programming and marketing to hospitality to theater operations. We simply could not run a festival of this size and success without our volunteers. And so Canadian Heritage's support is truly necessary and meaningful. Thank you. The City of Vancouver is another very important partner. Uh, Mayor Robertson was to be with us tonight, but unfortunately he is not able to, to make it. Uh, but we would certainly like to give our heartfelt thanks and appreciation to the many uh, wonderful people in the communities um, and to the City of Vancouver for their ongoing support on an annual basis. We also appreciate the many wonderful people in companies and organizations, large and small, local and national, who so faithfully and generously support the festival. I couldn't possibly name them all now, but we'll, or we'd be here all night. But I do want you to know that approximately half of VIF's $4 million budget comes from corporate sponsors, individual donors, and other supporters. It truly takes an entire community to bring you this festival. So please join me in a round of applause for VIF's funding partners. <laughs> of particular note, it's my pleasure to warmly acknowledge the film festival's major partners, Rogers, Fidelity Investments, and Telefilm Canada. Fidelity Investments Canada is VIF's newest major partner, partnering with us earlier this spring. We're very pleased to have you and your guests as part of VIF celebrations this year. Thank you, Fidelity Investments. One of the film festival's long-standing and most generous corporate sponsors simply must be acknowledged, and that's our major partner, Rogers Communication. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Rogers, who is not only a great friend of, friend of the film festival, but also the presenting sponsor of tonight's celebrations. To Rogers and your guests, we are so glad to be celebrating this evening with you. Thank you to Rogers. In addition to tonight's opening gala, Rogers is also sponsor of the aptly named Rogers People's Choice Award and our film and television forums activity hub, the Rogers Industry Center. The industry uh, film and television forum started yesterday and continues until Saturday at the festival's year-round Vancouver International Film Center and City TV Atrium. Now here with us this evening to say a few words of welcome on behalf of Rogers is Tara Thin, reporter with Omni News. Welcome, Tara. Good evening, everyone. How many of you love this time of the year in our city? I surely do. On behalf of Rogers, welcome to the 2012 Vancouver International Film Festival. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Like Dave mentioned, Rogers has been a major supporter of the film festival and this year we are continuing our support by sponsoring the opening film screening and the gala. We also sponsor the Rogers People's Choice Award, giving audiences a chance to vote for the favorite film of the festival and be entered to win an exclusive prize from Rogers. Rogers has been a major supporter of the arts from film festivals across the country to helping documentary and independent filmmakers achieve their vision through our three funds, Rogers Telefund, Rogers Documentary Fund, and Rogers Cable Network Fund. We are excited for this year's festival and would like to thank everyone who makes it such a huge success from the staff to the hundreds of volunteers. Let's give it up for the volunteers one more time. I'm sure you all are very excited to watch tonight's film. How excited are we to watch The Midnight's Children? 
I've had the pleasure to watch the film already, and I can promise you, you have to be ready to be transported to another world. Enjoy the evening, and thank you very much. Thanks, Tara. Telefilm Canada, the federal agency dedicated to developing Canada's audiovisual sector, is also one of VIF's three major partners. Telefilm has partnered with VIF from our earliest days, in fact, since Telefilm Canada's Western office opened 28 years ago. Canadian film is very important to VIF. VIF attracts an incredibly large and enthusiastic audience for Canadian films. We take great pride in the fact that we program more Canadian films than any other festival in the world. In fact, we have 108 Canadian films in this year's festival alone. <laughs> Telefilm Canada is our great partner in these goals. At this time, it's my pleasure to invite Telefilm Canada's Western Board member, Marley Oden, to the stage. Marley? I'm always so relieved when I make it up the stairs. The last time I followed the mayor, thankfully he wasn't here today, I did fall. So, anyway, greetings everyone from our chair, Michelle Waugh, and the Board of Directors of Telefilm Canada. We're so delighted once again to be able to participate in the Vancouver Film Festival. It's our 20th year. And no, I have not been on the board for 20 years, but it is my fourth year. Another wonderful opening night for a spectacular film. I had the pleasure of seeing it last week in Calgary at the Calgary Film Festival, and be prepared to enjoy yourself. Telefilm was so delighted to be able to be a strong part of Deepa's film. She is an extraordinary woman, a beautiful artist, and probably one of the most generous and talented people you'll ever meet. So what a delight for all of us to be here tonight, and what a delight for Telefilm to be here. Telefilm's intensely involved in, in the film festival, and we have lots of opportunities for the industry and for our audience members to participate in this glorious 15 days in Vancouver. And we're so happy that we can. Now, I'm a born and raised Westerner, and I have a little bit of a bias about our incredible talent that we have in Canada. I happen to feel, and don't quote me on this, because I'll have to deny it, that we have the most talented people in British Columbia and Western Canada. But, and, and Deepa, and Deepa, of course. You know, we're a rich country culturally and with our artistic endeavors and our talent because there's really, what, 27 people in all of Canada? And everywhere you look, in film, in music, there's a Canadian. Like, how has this happened? Is it the cold winters? I'm not really sure. Anyway, we're delighted that we've been able to support so many of the productions that are here at the film festival. It's what we do, and we do it with pride and with glee. And it's a wonderful thing. So on that note, I really just want you to say, I want to say to you, enjoy this spectacular film, enjoy the festival. We're so glad that we can do what we do. I will be around later. I'd love to talk to anyone about Canadian film, what's going on in the world, and what your opinions are. So please enjoy the festival. And I'm not going to speak for another eight minutes because the film's too precious for that to happen. So enjoy the festival. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Marley. And now we get to the good stuff, as Marley says. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the festival director and CEO, Alan Franey. Before we begin other introductions, I would like to give a personal thank you to Michael Francis, who has been part of our spine and soul with the film festival since I became director in 1988 and Michael you've made it a much smoother ride than it otherwise would have been. Thank you. Now we have some honored guests associated with the film and some special partners to introduce to you but to help me do that I would like to welcome to the stage and introduce to you the festival's new executive director. Please give a warm welcome to Jacqueline Dupuis. Thank you, Alan. Um, I've been thrilled to uh, be invited to join the very talented team here at VIF and to be part of this incredible organization. 
During these past few months, I've had the distinct pleasure of getting to know many of our stakeholders and the important role VIV plays in the community. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity to be working with one of the largest and most successful film festivals in North America. Amongst many notable qualities, one that makes VIV particularly special is its audiences. Internationally, VIF is well respected and even admired for the film loving, cultural enthusiast community here in Vancouver and those who visit the, film, the festival from around the world. That the culture of film is so ingrained in the hearts and minds of Vancouverites inspired me to become part of the energy, part of the community, and help further this exciting and growing culture. In my role as executive director, I look forward to working with our stakeholders and partners to create new and exciting opportunities to engage audiences, further the economic and, the economic and cultural impact of VIF and the destination value of the Van City Theatre as a hub for film and cultural enjoyment year round. I look forward to enjoying this very special evening with all of you. Okay, now we, we have a, a very interesting event coming up in the city at the end of October, and our organization is delighted to be partnering with them. We think they have a great future ahead of them, and this is the South Asian Film Festival. And here to help honor the filmmakers associated with the Nice Children, who you will be introduced to soon, is Pat Bays who is the director, along with our dear old friend, Hannah Fisher, who was the director of VIF in 86 and 87. Pat, would you please come up? Thank you so much, Alan. Um, my name is Pat Bays, and uh, with Hannah Fisher, we co-founded SAF Canada, the South Asian, uh, South Asian Film Festival. We're thrilled to be partnering with VIF, and um, we are also uh, very thrilled to be here tonight to present the Saf Spirit of the Muse Award to um, the extraordinary filmmaking team of David Hamilton and Deepa Mehta. Um, their work has inspired, challenged, provoked, enthralled, and transported the global film loving audiences around the world and their passionate commitment, their unwavering commitment to, uh, to creating universal, evocative and powerful stories about the human condition are an inspiration to all of us and to young filmmakers everywhere. The Spirit of the Muse Award um, in its incarnation here, has been created by let, uh, the next generation of the great Haida Gwaii artists. Alan Weir uh, is the new generation who is committed to preserving and to uh, sharing the cultural, traditional, um, social, and environmental uh, aspects of our national treasure, the islands of Haida Gwaii. Mr. Weir, um, I'm sure we'll be, we'll be hearing a lot from Mr. Weir in the years to come. I'm very pleased to invite um, South Canada board member, former premier, and uh, public servant, humanitarian, and our dear friend Ujjal Dosange uh, to the stage um, to help present the award, uh, the South Spirit of the Muse Award to David Hamilton. Um, we'd also like to invite our wonderful, legendary filmmaker, Canadian Gem, and South Canada Advisory Committee member, Vic Saren, to also join me on the stage um, to help present the award to Ms. Maida. I'm uh, deeply moved and obviously thrilled to be here. I'm not going to make, make an hour-long speech. Politicians do that. I'm, I'm out of that. I'm retired and I'm a recovering politician. <laughs> um, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, you know, looking at the uh, Hamilton Mehta team, I'm reminded of my own uh, partner uh, and my partnership with Raminder. I mean, she's been around 
with me. She's here in the back there uh, through political, public, and private life. And uh, uh, as in public life, in political life, so is the case with the uh, collaborative nature of the filmmaking. And, uh, and that's why it gives me great pleasure uh, to be able to recognize David Hamilton um, tonight uh, with the um, Spirit of the Muse Award. And uh, I, I will let Vic Serain do most of the talking. I've done most of it in my life, so here. <laughs> Well, I think uh, I sh I'm the one who should be actually retired. But if Deepa keeps making these movies, you know, it's inspired you so much, I can't stop myself. So I got to keep going. Um, uh, Deepa, I'm not sure you remember that or not. We met in the quarters of CBC some about 30 years ago. And we sort of eyed each other and we just waved at each other. So that was our first meeting. And ever since that time, I've been following your career, an uh, amazing career, and with awe and, and, and uh, um, admiration. Um, you have been inspiring to me, and you've been inspiring to many other filmmakers. And as a filmmaker, um, I know that, that, that your films have a very strong uh, sense of direction, what you want to say and how you want to say it. And, and you tackle some very, very strong and important uh, uh, social issues. And, and I, I commend you for that, because some, sometimes we find a little bit of a, you know, easy way out of those things, but you don't, you go head on. And, and I think it's such inspiration to all of us that you do that. And I also want to tell you that I haven't seen any filmmaker, or very few actually, who have such a great eye for the detail in each frame you have in your film. And, and I wish I had that, but maybe next life, I don't know. <laughs> and and, and, and I, also, I also feel that it's a gift. It's a gift given to you. And I hope you continue to share this gift of making films for all of us for many years to come. Yes. Photos here. Lower a bit. Good. Okay. Now we thank you so much. And David and Deepa, please don't go away. Pat, we wish Saf very, very well. It's been a pleasure working with you and smooth sailing in the weeks ahead. I wish you the very best as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we have a wonderful film to see, and I don't think many words are required, but would you like to say something before we go to the screen? Please. Thank you so much. I mean, I really love this. So, so good to be Thank you. And, you know, there's, there's something. I love your festival. I love the audience. I love being in Vancouver. And I thought it was always because of Vikram Vijay's food. <laughs> But, <laughs> Vikram, you have a, you know, somebody who's sort of challenging you in my affection, which is a, it's a radio station called RJ1200. 
I got interviewed by them yesterday and they were so cool and I thought they should come to Toronto. So, <laughs> no, so Vancouver is becoming this really special place and I am so happy to be here showing our film. And uh, personally, I would like, people have said, what is the film about? And I never get into it. But um, it is about the importance of family and how we find our own families. That's what it's like for me. So I personally would like to dedicate this film tonight to David's family, Beverly Hunter, who's here with her family, and to all our families. Thank you so much. There were many times during the sojourn that took us over this last four years where we actually, or at least I, didn't think we'd survive it. But here we are. We did it. And some of those challenges required some of the organizations who support us to really s stretch themselves and be extremely creative. Uh, and one of those uh, organizations is Carol Brabant's uh, Telephone Canada, we would not be here today if it weren't for them, because many things happened to us that were unusual in filmmaking. We were actually shut down in Sri Lanka for a while, and they managed to find a way to keep us going. Uh, also, the Canadian uh, High Commissioner showed us the fury and finesse of Canadian diplomacy, and we got back on the rails president of Sri Lanka had to step in on our behalf. Um, but it, uh, it, it meant we lost our bond and we lost our interim financing. So the support <laughs> is, we had to sell a few things. <laughs> uh, but the support of Telefilm and CBC and Chorus and OMDC and the Canadian Media Fund were really very, very important to helping us get here today. Now, there are a couple of connections to Vancouver that are important to mention. The most important is one of our top actresses in the film is actually here from, from Vancouver. And you're gonna meet Anita in a minute. And the other is that all the CGI work was done in a studio here in Gastown. Uh, Zoic Studios, many of the people from Zoic are here tonight. I'd love to introduce uh, Anita Majumdar, who plays uh, Emerald, and she was born in Port Moody, and there you go, <laughs> Anita. <laughs> and who is here and flew in today just, just for Biff is the lead of the film, Satya Bhava, who plays Salim Sinai. Satya. And over to Alan, and let's start the film. I hope you have a lovely, lovely screening, and, uh, and if you don't, please don't say anything to me. <laughs> So we're honored you're all with us, and we also should recognize all the other filmmakers who are in the audience and make this festival possible. Thank you. Turn off your cell phones and let's enjoy the film.